I, I always trash women on this on this podcast. And um you know, so I'm always telling the, 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 the broads over there to fucking, you know, write some shit here. Talk some shit back so we can be nice, so we can be fair and balanced. Like all those uh those those uh new shows. Um anyway, all right. Uh The Empire Strikes Back is the name of this one. All right, number one. She says, I don't like diesel guys. You know, the guys who drive their extremely lifted, tricked out diesel trucks and think that they are so fast. I don't know what that means. So cool, you mean? They are always trying to get me to race them in my Evo. I don't know what that is either. And when I don't, uh, because they're gay, they blow black smoke out, out their exhaust and peel away. Do you, work, do you live in Texas? That just sounded like the beginning of, like, Urban Cowboy. Anyway, something about their huge truck makes them think they have a huge dick. Uh, I got to go with you on that one. Yes, I don't like those guys. I don't like people who feel like because of the car that they have, you know, especially myself because I drive a hybrid. I always get people giving me shit. And then they start talking about their car like they fucking invented it, like they built it. It's like, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some some other man had to build that for you. Do you understand that, sweetheart? So why don't you cl- climb behind your little shiny toy that you don't even understand how it fucking works? All right, you cunt. All right, uh, number two. My mother always taught me that it is rude to stare. I guess 50% of men either weren't taught that or they don't care. It is super fucking annoying when men stare. I totally understand seeing an attractive person and and them getting your attention. But it should end there. There are too many guys who just keep looking. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I'm only guilty of that when I get drunk. Then I don't give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, look at that. There are fucking titties on her. Um, excuse me. Quiet down, sweetheart. I'm looking at your cleavage. Uh, anyway, she says, get a grip, fag. Uh, like clockwork, if I am walking up an accident and accidentally make eye contact, um, this guy might look away for now, but the second I pass him and turn around, turn around to bust him, lo and behold, he is fucking staring. All right. I got to tell you something. Staring at a woman, making her feel uncomfortable is, is definitely not cool. Uh, I totally agree with you on that. But you know, if you fucking walk by me, I can turn around and check out your ass. All right. If if you have a problem with that, um, I feel bad for you because one day you're going to turn around. I don't know. Could be when you're 27. It could be when you're 47. I don't know when. But one day you're going to turn around and lo and behold, the dude is not going to be staring. And let me tell you something. That is not a fun fucking day. So enjoy those days. As long as he's not running back at you, grabbing your ass. If he's turning around, checking you out, there's nothing wrong. He's not fucking staring. Staring is looking at when you're facing him. That's staring. Staring in your eyes, looking at your titties, checking out your box. <laughs> really being disrespectful. That's staring. But when you walk by looking over your shoulder, I mean, that's a fucking, you know, it's a compliment. If he continues to walk and turns around, checks you out, that's actually a compliment. If he stops and he's got one hand in his pocket and it appears that he's doing half the mashed potato dance, like that, that is offensive, without a doubt. Jesus, where did I pull that out of? Um, that would be offensive. All right, but he's turning around fucking staring at you. Uh, that means that you're an attractive woman, and uh, stop being so cunty and take it as a compliment. All right? I understand you walk by a construction site, and they go, hey, let me see your fucking panties, or whatever the hell they yell, you know? Whistling at you and all that type of shit. I understand that. Yeah, I totally get that. You know, treating you the same way I would be treated when I first walked into a prison facility holding my blanket. (laughs) I totally understand that. But, you know, if he continues walking in the other direction and turns around and checks out your ass, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. That means he liked what he saw. That means you're looking good. That's all that that means. He's not fucking staring. All right. Um, Anyway, she goes on to say, everyone notices hot girls and guys too, but it is rude to stare. Okay, I'll go with you halfway on that. You know, when you're looking at me, I shouldn't be staring at your fucking chest. 
or your hips or your ass or your fucking hoo-ha or your legs or whatever. Um, but on the other side, you know, if you're really hot and you wear something really sexy, I mean, guys are only so like, I don't know. We're only so, we only have so much control over that. You're fucking with nature there. All right. Yeah. So I kind of blamed you in a way. So you're right now. Somewhere in the middle of that, I agreed with you. Just take that. T- you take that home with you. All right, there, toots. All right, number three. Uh, what is the nast? Uh, what is with the nasty bathroom habits? Um, I don't know if some men just don't notice or don't care that the outer rim of their toilets are fucking disgusting. Is it that hard to wipe off what missed the target? A house with only single guys or a men's bar bathroom is proof that some. Me have horrendous. Some men have horrendous bathroom habits. Okay. Um, absolutely, one hundred percent agree with you. Other than the public bathrooms, there's nothing more disgusting. The females' bathroom is actually more disgusting because you guys hover and you can't see what the fuck you're aiming at. All right. I used to work in a restaurant, and one of my jobs was I had to clean the fucking bathrooms. And I don't know what the fuck you guys are using all all that fucking toilet. It's like a ticket. It's like somebody won a fucking championship in there. You know, the Canyon of Heroes. Like there's all ticker tape and all kinds of shit all over the floor. It's fucking horrific. And you guys piss all over the place. Uh, you know, exactly. You know what I mean? Us urinating, at least we're looking at what we're urinating. You guys, it's like a fucking trick shot. And you're shit-faced in high heels, okay? And you're hovering. Need I say more? All right, but everything else that you said... Is is one hundred percent true? Um, I lived with guys when, uh, obviously, when I was fucking single and all that type of shit, and I never understood that. I never understood the fucking dirty dishes piled up to the ceiling, or or the food that you fucking ordered nine months ago, and it, and it has like disgusting mold on the side of it, and thinking all that shit was funny, not mopping up the floor, living like a fucking animal slice of pizza in the cushion or however they always try to make gut single guys, you know, you know, like whenever they, whenever they do in a, a Hollywood movie, at least they used to do it like back in the day, like whenever a single guy would get up, uh, just to demonstrate that he needs a woman in life. It was actually, it was actually insulting to both sexes. Yeah. It was basically saying that this guy needs a woman in his kitchen to start fucking making some food or, or, or something. And it was insulting to the guy basically saying that, Guys didn't know how to take care of themselves, you know? And I know that there are a lot of guys out there. I know it's just comedy or whatever, but every fucking movie would always start off. The guy would have, like, chocolate, milk, a li- half a beer left, and he'd pour it on some Fruit Loops and then mix the whole thing together in a blender, suck it down, and then do a spit take into the sink. And then that was the deal, to show that he needs a woman in his fucking life. But I, I totally understand you. It's fucking gross. And there was nothing worse than uh, when I would be on the road when I was uh, younger and I would crash at buddies' places and you'd go to get up, hey, can I, you know, can I take a shower before I go? They'd be like, yeah, right? And you'd, and they'd go to give you this fucking towel that, you know, they, you know, check their oil on, wash their dog with and fucking, I don't know what, drove the car over it. It felt like a fucking stiff piece of cardboard. And then you'd go into their shower and it was just, you couldn't touch anything. Hair all over the place, fucking disc- I never... Never fucking understood that. And I want to tell you, sweetheart, I never lived like that. I've never fucking lived like that. And one of my biggest fucking turnoffs ever are messy women. There's nothing worse than a messy woman. Because as much as I just stuck up for guys that were not all slobs, it's like you're supposed to teach us how not to be fucking animals. You know, the same way I'm supposed to, you know, teach you ditzy broads how to fucking change a light bulb. You know, because you don't want to get your nails to have your nails melted away. Right. You're supposed to teach me how not to, you know, drink milk from nine months ago. I do not like when some guys cannot control themselves and stare at tits and ass. Didn't you already say this? Doesn't this go under staring? Is this an offshoot? Is this like a spinoff when Flo got her own show off of Alice? Um, Instead of respecting the women by speaking to her face while making eye contact and just using their peripheral vision to get a good idea of her tits and ass. You know what? Go fuck yourself on this one. Why don't you put your fucking tits away, sweetheart? Okay? You don't want people staring at your tits and ass. Stop wearing those fucking hip-hugging jeans. 
with your little booty crack coming out. Stop wearing the, the shit with the cleavage, all right? Jesus Christ, why don't you just fucking walk in there top? That's the thing I've always hated. You know, hello, I'm up here. Well, you know what? You're not as good looking as your tits, sweetheart. So why don't you fucking put him away? And he's back. The chauvinistic cunt is back. All right, let's finish reading this. Um, I have one friend in particular who is terrible at this. He even will walk 20 feet out of his way to be at a good angle to see down a shirt or into a skirt. All right, that guy's a pervert. And uh, I got to admit, um, I'm a pervert too. I swear to God, if you have a fucking skirt on that's really short and you're about ready to walk up some stairs, uh, you know, I'm going to do, do a little march in place, let you get a good fucking 10 stairs in front of me. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to look. I am going to look. Wear some pants if you don't want it to happen. Or take the fucking elevator. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. You know what? You know what the thing is, too? You know what it is? They want you to look. Oh, yeah, they want it. I'm fucking with you. Um, what is going to, uh, anyways, what is that going to do for him? I wonder if he has heard of the internet. There is way better shit on there. There isn't, sweetheart. There's nothing better than seeing live titties. Okay? And you can never see enough of them. So he's probably on the internet, too. And whenever he can, he's just checking out titties. Um, anyways, continuing. Um, it is the 21st century. You can see millions of bare tits and ass in the comfort of your home. I don't get the distraction. That's a classic fucking argument that if you put it in the in the right uh, – in a different situation, you would argue the other side. What if you were in a relationship with some guy and he's looking at tits and ass on the internet? You'd be standing there like, really? You'd rather look at this shit that you can't really even interact with? Then I got live titties and ass right here. Why don't you come over here? See? See what I did there? All right. Here's someone who just straight up fucking hates uh, guys. Let's read this real quick. And if you're bitching about it as a guy, we fucking deserve it because I got three years of podcast trash and women. Here we go. Uh, Number one, guys who think one good conversation means they're in. I can't tell you how many guys I've spoken to a grand total of once who think that just because they made me laugh during light conversation that I will automatically bed them. I'm sorry. No. The world doesn't work like a porno. Sad to tell you. (laughs) All right. Wire to wire. That's perfect. Can't fuck with that. Number two. Guys who use axe as a replacement for showering. I hope I said that right. Um, Seriously, stop it. Yeah, you smell good now, but as soon as you walk away, that second cloud of ball smell is going to be waiting after you, and no girl is dying to get with that. Two for two. Um, Dudes who can't flirt needn't try. Uh, This is an actual conversation I had. Him, what are you doing? Me, watching Jersey Shore. You, Him, wondering if you'd suck dick. (laughs) Oh, wondering if you suck dick. Wow. And then her response was, wow, just, oh, my God. All right, number four, learn to kiss. Fellas, I know that when you practice on your hand and think you got skills and think you got skill, but when you attempt to French kiss and you end up basically eating my mouth, that's not good. Uh, Sweetheart, that works both ways. Um, female, stop thinking just because you're female, you're automatically sensual and you have a nice touch and you know how to kiss. It is a fucking skill. Some people are born with it, but not everybody. That kissing thing is the only one I'll fuck with you on. All right. I believe I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. All right. I'm in this, I'm in a bar, right? I'm chatting up this broad. Okay. She's short. Okay. Her arms is something fucked up with her arms. I can't really tell. Like that chick who makes the Italian food on the Food Network. If you ever really start looking at her arms, she's cute as a button, but there's something with her fucking arms. She's just not a dwarf. Um, anyways, so it was one of those deals. But anyway, she was cute though, right? So uh, <laughs> aside from her jack-in-the-box arms, she was fucking cute, all right? So I go – I go, lean in, right? We're going to make out or whatever. I would, I was fucking in there, right? Now, when you go to kiss somebody, for those of you who don't know how to kiss, you pick a lip. Either you're going high, they're going low, or vice versa. But what this girl would do, when I went high, she went high. Or if I went pick the lower lip, she went lower lip. She would basically do upper lip to upper lip, lower lip to lower That's what she was kept trying to do. And I got so frustrated at one point, I literally grabbed two handfuls of hair. I was a little drunk on both sides of her head and, and tried to tried to help her 
needless to say, after she kissed me, my dick was just like, all right, dude, you're on your own. You're on your own on this one. I don't know what you want to do, but uh, I'm good. I'm going to bed now. See you. See you in the morning. You know, I think I told that other story, that girl, uh, doggy style, you know, when I move forward, you move back. Sounds like a rap song. Uh, is that a ludicrous song? Um, <laughs> when I move forward, you move back, and then we both separate, and then we come together again like fucking magnets. That's how you do it. This girl would basically, when I went forward, she went forward, and when I went back, she went back. So we were just sort of rocking together. So I was, uh, I was inside the building, but uh, there was no friction. So once again, my dick started being like, you know, if this is how it's going to be, I think, uh, you know, I got work in the morning. So once again, I had to fucking grab her by the back of the neck like some fucking insubordinate hellhound. Another hand on her hip. And I had to hold her still for a second as I went back. And then I brought her to me. And then, see, see, there, there you go. There you go. All right. But I understand this woman. You don't you don't kiss other women, so there you go. All right, number five, guys who – by the way, this is fucking killer list here. Number five, guys who insist on a girl who's hairless. I don't think guys realize how much work it takes for a woman to maintain silky smooth skin all the time, but it is a pain. It wouldn't be so bad to keep it up if the guys did the same, but sadly a lot of furry little men stick their noses – up at the ideas. Um, how can we be forced to do it when your chinchilla ass doesn't? Um, someone else made a list and was just talking about the pedophile tendency of that, and I could not agree more. I think it's creepy. 100% hairless is fucking creepy. All right? I'd like a nice manicured lawn, please. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah, that other thing, yeah, that's just no. No. The Calvin Klein ad, as I call it. Remember those creepy ads he had with the fucking people, kids down in the goddamn basement? I think that's truly one of the few times in life when I actually get offended. I really, it really bothers me when uh, they that ad campaign and when they have like 14-year-old models, you know, sitting on a swing dressed like they're 22 and they look like they just got roofied. That's really... Um, I don't get it. I really don't get that at all. Uh, I don't know if it's because there's a lot of gay guys in fashion and they don't realize how creepy straight guys view that. I don't know what, but whoever's, you know, they're really missing the mark on that. It's just, it's fucking unbelievably creepy. And it actually makes me angry when I see it and I, and I want to find the guy who came up with it and, uh, and fucking punch him in the face because it's, it's, it's wrong. It's fucking wrong. It's just, you know, and believe me, for me to be saying something's wrong, it has to be fucking wrong because I really don't give a shit about most things. All right. But yeah, enough with the fucking sexy 14 year old who looks like she just got drugged and can't stand up on her fucking Bambi legs. I, I really, that's fucking, it's fucked up. Okay. Number six. And lastly, uh, men who assume oral is always on the table. <laughs> You are boring, a bad driver, didn't pay for my movie ticket, made me listen to speed metal while we were in traffic, but you think that you deserve to be blown? You have dirty hair. I can only imagine what state your dick is in. Oh, then she writes, what's that in your eye? Oh, it's just a sparkle. That, you know what? That was phenomenal. Phenomenal points, phenomenally written. Um, I'm liking this. The Empire Strikes Back. The women coming back at us. We fucking deserve it. We fucking deserve it. We fucking deserve it.